today, Chef David Evans is going to share with us a unique way of making potatoes. What are we going to make today? Today we're making a uh, pan-seared potato vermicelli mm -hmm. with a seared ahi tuna. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So what's the first thing that we do? Uh, we're going to start with our, with our ginger reduction. We're doing a ginger cream reduction, which is going to accompany it. We'll get that started since it's going to take the most time. All right. So we'll start that off and heat up a little bit of oil. We're going to caramelize this ginger a little bit to get some color out of it and get the sugars and the mm -hmm. sweetness that will add it to lend itself to the sauce. Okay. And a little bit of ginger. Okay, just minced. Minced ginger. Okay. Oh, it smells wonderful. We'll just let that caramelize up a little bit. Okay. While that's cooking, we'll start and we'll do these potatoes. We've got a uh, Japanese spiral cutter here, which we're going to use on the potatoes to make the vermicelli. Oh, interesting. Where can you find these? Um, most Asian markets will have them. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty commonplace now. So right. if you look around, you'll find it. All right, let's see how it so works. Put that in here. It's got some teeth on it that'll make our vermicelli. Oh. And that ought to be plenty for what we're doing here. Oh, that's see, wonderful. Oh, my really gosh. Long. So what we'll do is while we're finishing our sauce, mm -hmm. we'll throw these in some cold water, let them hold for a while okay. while we're finishing everything else since they take a very, very short time to cook. And we, is that to keep the, the color white? Primarily the color and then the, it allows them not to dry out at all. Okay. So when we finally do cook them, they're, they're going to be brittle as it is. We don't want to uh, speed up the process and have them break on us. All right. So Wonderful. at this point, we'll deglaze this with some vodka just a little bit, that's going to pull it up from the surface, bring some mm -hmm. of those sugars that have caramelized on there. Um, vodka works really well for this because it's really crisp, it's not as acidic as wine, mm -hmm. so it, it cleans the sauce up and it cuts through some of the cream so that it's, uh, it's a little more delicate okay. that Wonderful. way. So we'll get that going, mm -hmm. heat that up, and at this point we'll add the cream. We've cooked off some of the liquor in there. Okay, now while this cream is reducing, we'll put this back here on a back burner. Start our uh, vermicelli here. We'll start with a little bit of canola oil. Mm -hmm. Let that heat up. Can you make the sauce ahead of time and just... You could. You um, with, with these kind of ingredients, it's really nice to... to Everything's fresh. The time of service, the time of plating, just because you want it to be crisp, you want it to be mm -hmm. fresh. We're taking advantage of... of some really good ingredients and you hate to lose that by letting it sit. Okay. Um, so All right. it's hot enough. We'll add a little bit more of our ginger to this. Just a little bit to infuse in the oil. We'll add our mushrooms. We've got some shiitakes. Mm -hmm. uh, some chanterelles. A little bit of red peppers. some bok choy. We use mainly the greens just because you use a little too much of the white and it's it's a little too wet, it's a little too moist for this dish. So okay. mainly the tops just the top. and some fresh asparagus tips. We'll start mm. with these raw. We put them in early enough and they'll uh, they cook up nicely. They stay nice and crisp. They don't they don't lose their color. Mm -hmm. and they, uh, everything blends in really well. They lend themselves mm. very nicely to the dish. You have a nice combination of fresh ingredients. So now we've got that cooking. This is when we'll put the potatoes in. Okay. Uh, they've been soaking in some water, which not only keeps them keeps them fresh and ready, but it also removes some of the starch. Oh. So they're not going to be glommy. They're not going to stick together. Okay. Helps keep them separated. These are going to go in for about a minute and a half, two minutes tops. You've got a very short window. Okay, into boiling you, water, right? Into boiling water, between, just below a boil. What you're doing is you're not actually cooking them, you're getting them started. And what's going to happen is, once they've gotten to that point, it's going to be added to this pan. All right. Once they hit the pan, this is where they finish their cooking. So okay. this, this is just a start. So mm -hmm. you've got to kind of watch that. At this point, we'll add a little bit of sesame oil to this. Mm. And we'll add a stick of butter, because that makes everything good. Round out the flavors. Yeah, that'll balance everything <laughs> out a little bit. It, uh, and everybody likes it. So. Everybody likes a little better. 
it works pretty well. We'll just kind of put that on some low heat and melt that butter. At okay. this point, we're really not cooking anymore. We're just holding it ready until the potatoes go. are ready. Now, at this point, we're going to get our tuna started. All right. Um, it's, we're serving it blue rare, so it just barely gets so seared on each side. We'll get a pan heated up here. That looks wonderful. Just a little bit of oil. It doesn't require a lot of oil. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take a nice loin here. Let's put a little bit of salt and pepper on that. Mm. Kosher salt? Kosher salt. Not a whole lot. Just it has its own flavor, there. right? It does. It does. Now we'll get that oil heating up a little bit so we can sear it. And it's important to do it when the oil is hot. Yeah, you want the oil hot. If, you leave it, if, you, if it's not hot enough, you end up putting the fish in there, the pan heats up, and as it's heating up, it's still cooking the, the tuna. Uh -huh. Then you end up with something that looks like it came out of a can. It's chalky and it's and it's white. You don't. It yeah. ruins. It ruins it what ruins you uh, <laughs> what you're after. So okay. now we'll start. Our oil is hot, so we'll sear off the tuna. All right. Just start on the one right. side. There we go. Okay. Now at this point, we'll strain off this sauce. Okay. Just run this through here real quick. Run that through. With this dish, we chose to use a cream sauce because um, it lends itself very well. We've got we've got all the, f the fresh ingredients. We kept the, the vegetables nice and light. Mm -hmm. um, you didn't want to put too much with them to overpower them, but at the same time, you want to serve them with something that's got some texture and some, some bold flavors to it. Uh, the ginger mm -hmm. lends itself very well. Uh, we add a little bit of cream to that. That that not only makes a nice, a uh, lacier sauce, mm -hmm. and it clings very well to the fish, but it also cuts down some of the heat of the ginger, but still lends itself the, the ginger's flavor to the sauce without it being too overpowering and taking away from any of the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. So done here, so we'll flip over to the other side. What you want is just a uniform doneness uh -huh. around all four sides of the tuna. And how many minutes on each side do you think? Uh, it really depends on what a person prefers. Like I say, this is going to be a blue rare to a rare. Mm -hmm. um, some people like just a little bit of red in the middle, but it's it's okay. generally we find that most people like it as close to sushi as possible, which okay. is as raw as possible. Right. So it's a nice color and texture there. Also, it doesn't get, it doesn't fall apart. It doesn't flake as much, and it's more meat like. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at this point, we'll add our uh, well, that's finishing up. We'll add our potatoes. Now we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. A few sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. We're just going to lightly turn that. What we're doing at this point is we're just coating the potatoes. We don't want to cost them. We don't want to cook them too much. Mm -hmm. Their own heat is going to they're going to continue the cooking okay. process okay. while they're going through all this. So we'll do that. Flip this over. That pan's hot enough, so we'll just shut that off while it finishes that last side. Okay. Now at this point, we're going to up our plate with our sauce. Okay. We'll just season this lightly with a little salt, a little bit of fresh black pepper. Mm -hmm. Just put that around the edge. All right. We'll get our tuna off of the heat here. We'll just set that aside while All we're right. waiting to plate it. At this, this point, we'll put down our potatoes. Mm. This broccoli, we'll put the broccoli down first. Broccoli, yes. asparagus. It's all green. It's all green. So, <laughs> put this down. Watch those potatoes. Just get a little bit of a border with that for some color. Okay. Put down the potatoes. Just try to get all that color on top of that. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. Look okay. at that. We'll take our tuna. This is a nice center cut, so it's a nice tight piece of it. It doesn't mm -hmm. want to flake, so you can do a nice uh, angle cut here. You can see there. Mm. We'll get that. We'll put those right in here. Just kind of bulk that up in the center. Oh, that's beautiful. And it didn't, it only took us a couple minutes to do this. No, everything you're looking at is really, really quick. It's wow. really easy to cook. It's just a matter of timing it and doing uh -huh. it all at the right time so you don't end up with something Getting overcooked. Getting your plots ready. Exactly. <laughs> so why did you choose to use potatoes in this dish? It's just something fun to do. And plus the, the potatoes, uh -huh. they're bringing all that in so you can re they really 
draws in the sesame right. and some of the some of the other flavors that are marrying together in the pan. Uh, so you have a huge flavor impact when you're eating this. Yeah, that's Great. what we're after with that. Okay, and uh, to garnish that, we just put a little bit of a soy syrup, which is a reduction of soy sauce with brown sugar and okay. a little white wine, just for some color. And that'll be in the cookbook? Yes, it will. Okay. And we just put a little soy sauce, sesame seed uh, on top of that, and a little bit of basil on top. Oh, wow. Once again, you look like you did yourself. Thank <laughs> this you very is much. wonderful. Thank you very much, David. Thank you.